Hey, so look, I'm getting my workout on, so all of a sudden, it hit me, man. Let me tell y'all about old school, man. Now, his name was Beat Him Down Brown. I'm about to tell y'all, man. Beat Him Down Brown was one of the coldest old mugs to ever walk the streets, boy. So, back in the day, he was a boxer, right? He was doing a little boxing thing, and he was cold, man, knocking mugs clean out, boy. But then one day he messed it around and went up against this one guy and the whole neighborhood was there. Everybody was there cheering him on and all that. And he just got clocked, man. Just got caught. Now, after he got caught, everybody kind of, you know, kind of turned on him because they thought he was going to be like their little meal ticket, all the females and all that junk. So once he got knocked out, everybody kind of turned on him and he went through a depression and junk. And the man just started drinking. And, um, but you know, he wasn't drinking what you think he was drinking. He started drinking Kool-Aid, man. Like this man just started eating barbecue and drinking Kool-Aid till you next thing you know, he just blew it up. Now, once he got all big and junk, you know, he just get, when he got him a regular little job and messed around and had a daughter and, um, you know, him and the mama, they ain't really get along, but you know, he was always stayed in his daughter life. You know, everybody in the neighborhood knew that man didn't play by his daughter. And he'd be working on cars and everything, just whatever, you know, he did to do. But his daughter messed around and got to messing with this young boy, one of them little street boys, man. So <laughs> he ended up, you know, the daughter ended up passing away from an altercation she had with her so-called boyfriend or whatever. So when he found this out, man, he was told up, man. He was told up from the flow up. Well, I'm talking about he was jacked up, man, like... You know, he was so mad, but he was still just so big and strong that, like, you know, it, they couldn't even hold, like, he told the whole funeral home up, man. They couldn't do nothing about it. Like, he just told the place up, man. And, um, after that, he decided he was going to go, go, go and um, get that boy or whatever. So he went out to the street, um, with nothing but this big old belt, man. I'm talking about big old thick leather belt, man. And he just walked the streets. You know, day and night until he could find that boy. And he finally messed around and ran up on that boy. And he caught him. And, you know, he looked like Unc say, he skinned him alive, man, right? He put a whooping on that boy so bad, so vicious. They said you could hit a belt and slap that boy from two, three blocks away. That's how bad it was.